We have another anime uh, release date to mention. We're getting a lot of release dates from the 2025 winter anime season, and this is one of them. I left my a rank party to help my students research the dungeon depths. And with this release date coming out, also comes out a trailer. And I do have a clip of that trailer. And here it is. <laughs> And if you want to watch the entirety of the trailer, just like I mentioned before, link will be down in the description of this video. The official website and accounts for the I Left My A Rank Party to help my students reach the dungeon depths. Anime Today announced that the fantasy series will begin airing from January 11th, 2025 at 2455 GST. I can't read. Last time I thought when they said 23.00 uh, GST, thought that they meant like um 11 p.m., but I can't read Japanese Standard Time. Uh, effectively, January 12th at uh, 0 0.55 a.m. That's what that means. So they go all the way to 24. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> I understand. So when they hit 24, they mention like the 12, basically 12, 55 a.m. Yeah, that's what that means. 12, 55 a.m. Ja ja um, Japanese Standard Time. Got it. <laughs> hmm. so this person left their a rank party to help out his disciples, his students, to reach the dungeon depth. I wonder how strong he really is. A new trailer and key visual were also revealed, along with eight additional cast members. So I already showed you a clip of the trailer. And like I said already, if you want to watch the entire clip, link will be in the description down below if you want to watch it. I do have the key visuals of some of the cast members, some of the, uh, not cast members, but the the characters that are, are going to be in the anime. And here are some. Well, that's the visual. <laughs> that's not, that's the main crew. That's his students right there. All women. <laughs> all of them. They all love them. Most definitely. <laughs> all of them will probably love them. Again, this is uh, one of the characters that they um, showed off. Um, of course, damn it, I went to the the next character. Here's another character that they showed off in the trailer. So you got to watch the entire trailer in order to see these characters because they were not all in that clip. It's another one. There's another one. Ooh, an elf. That's nice. Kind of weird name saga. <laughs> I would assume that's going to be it right there. Yeah, that, that's the last character that they introduced. Yuki, a red, a red mage, angrily declares that he's leaving Thunder Pike, the a rank party he's been with for five years. Some, the party that he's been adventuring for five years because he's fed up with being insulted and ridiculed by the other members. So he doesn't like to be talked down to. Got it. They're all being mean to him. <laughs> all of them were being mean to him. Like they're being meanies. You, you're being a meanie. He didn't like that. He didn't like being like insulted. Um, than like uh, people calling them names, I guess. And if they're doing it all the time, I, I would assume that you don't want that too. <laughs> like belittling him <laughs> and stuff. He wants to be more comfortable. 
right? He wants to be with somebody who some pe the people that he feels more comfortable with and also would treat him would treat him with respect because his party wouldn't treat him with respect and he took it for eight uh not eight but five years and he couldn't take it anymore after five years while searching for a new party he runs into his former students marina silk and rain and decided to join their party uh clover encouraged by their admiration of him as their teacher yuki leads them into completing several quests that show off his own extraordinary magic and skills while bringing out the girl's abilities to their fullest. It makes them better. It makes them better. He shows off. <laughs> so he's pretty good. And then with his, I guess, tutelage and teaching, they'll probably make him better. It could be maybe even better than his former teammates. Because they actually respect uh, their teacher. <laughs> Since he is the teacher has more admiration for him than his former party. Then through an event, uh, an adventure broadcast by an artifact known as Camelot, Clover becomes well-known throughout society. The party dream is to conquer uh, Archromatic Darkness. Uh, Achromatic? Romatic Darkness? Arc, arch, arch romantic darkness. I don't know. The most challenging dungeon of all. But as they take on other dungeons in hopes of eventually achieving that goal, they gradually become entangled in chaos that threatens the whole world. <laughs> Hopefully they can pull it off. Hopefully. So they turn out to be uh, well-known and one of the best parties out there. And I would assume that his former party members are not happy about that. That his new party, who treats him with respect, who doesn't belittle him, insult him, and makes him better, is more better than, than his former party. I wonder how well they're doing, though. That's the thing. I wonder... They'll probably eventually meet up and maybe convince, try to, they try, they'll probably try to convince uh, Yuki, right? That's the name, right? Yuki. Uh, to um, come back to their party. And to me, in my opinion, uh, he more likely won't go back to them, though. But he shouldn't. He shouldn't, especially if they're going to continue to insult him. Yeah. Even though he was doing well, even though he's good, they still would probably insult him, make fun of him. And nobody wants to do that. Like to poke fun of people every now and then, that's fine. But to do it in a consistent basis, and I don't know if that's been happening, but it looks like it's been happening. And yeah, I wouldn't want that. You rather. I'd rather you just get away from that. <laughs> yeah. 